Thank you. Thank you for joining us in this transmission. You can call me Gira. I am as a son. We have heard your question. And you would know what the answer would be. Follow your excitement, follow what you love to do and do it the way you love to do it. And don't care about the outcome. That's the formula. But you need to share you need to talk with people about what you experience. And you will find that there are many around you that have the similar experiences. And yes, it is a very good idea to start a French community and translate channelings into French. And for that, we would give you advice to follow your heart while translating the beings that you will translate will channel through you in French. They will help you to Amplify the original intent behind the words. As you know, words are not that important. The main communication is going on telepathically. Even, even between you, earthlings, you are all telepathically linked. And if you act with that knowingness, it 
then you don't need to you realize you don't need to worry about what comes out in the form of words is always understanding can you feel us talking to you telepathically please unmute yourself <laughs> sorry um thank you so much for that that was uh, really beautiful um y yes 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 very good so while you are muted do you have any more questions or specificity you would like to yes add? and uh yes uh maybe a word that uh i can use um or, or something i can use to um know that i'm uh, uh have this connection or some, uh. yes thank you What we are teaching here is that all your fears, all your negative belief systems will dissolve if you do do the knowingness. The knowingness is your initial state. You know everything. You know it to the degree that you allow yourself to know it. So if you doubt that you know it, then you are not allowing yourself to know it. And you are always guided in your knowingness by your higher self. So you don't need to know what you are knowing exactly. But as you know it and as you act out, you will always know what to do and how to do it without hesitation, without second guessing, without doubting yourself. You will simply flow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And if the flow will seem to be interrupted for you, if you will catch yourself second guessing again, then just consider it as a part of the flow. And then you will transform it. Yes. But not devaluing, not refusing what is coming. You are allowing. And when you are allowing, when you are allowing the change, the things then change. If you do not allow them to change, they stay the same. There is just as much. We will ask you to mute yourself. There is just as much love for you in the universe in your reality. There is just as much gentleness and support for you. Just as much. Just as much you allow. It is that simple. 
So if you wish to flow, if you wish your world to be easy on you, then be easy on yourself. Don't be so harsh on yourself. Don't judge yourself. As you are benevolent to your kids, the same way you should be benevolent to yourself. You can always act lovingly. And if you are not acting lovingly, you are not acting the best way you can. Is this understandable? Uh, yes. Thank you. Any more questions? Um, the, um, the resistance that I'm still holding on to certain things um what is the best way for me to um to just go for my highest excitement yes that's the way through the resistance is not resisting the resistance feel it and then you know what you are resisting to and if you know that you can't resist to anything else but your love for yourself, then you will transform the resistance into allowance. It is just energy. It is energy of, of infinite possibilities of your love for yourself coming through you, through the pain, through the resistance. So if you interpret pain as the energy coming through to empower you, then you will be empowered by anything that you have resisted before. Does this make sense? Yes, it makes sense. Thank you. Thank you. We will now allow this transmission to transform a bit. And one of the reasons is to teach even the channel transition to Know and allow. No without resistance. No without insistence. Know that you know. Tune to the feeling of knowingness. You don't need to push, you don't need to push forward, just let it flow. Allowing is the knowingness. The knowingness sometimes feels like not knowing because you are just here and now, not in the future. So you never know what comes in the future. You know what is coming now. And that is the threat. And it's very short. It's right here. Don't go find it 
just stay right here and it will find you. Allow yourself to feel the knowingness. Be the knowingness. Be everythingness, if you wish. Allness. Connectedness of it all. Spaciousness in which everything happens for you, to you, with you. Thank you for your allowance to feel our transmission to you directly. This was our intention for you to know that you are always connected. You cannot be disconnected. You can only pretend to be disconnected. And you don't have to pretend. You can just be yourself. Allow yourself, be who you are. Be who you know you are. Thank you. Thank you. If you don't have any more questions, we will now end this transmission. You can ask. Um, yes. I, do, I do have somebody close to me who is, is uh, bringing up all of the... Um, <sighs> the emotions in me that uh, I've, I've felt really strongly and um, I, I suppose I'm, um, I'm experiencing what it is um, unconditional love yes. and um, I think that's what this person who's close to me is um, you know that we've attracted uh, we were attra we're attracted to each other for this reason i feel to um so so that i can feel unconditional love and um i suppose just a, but uh, um how do we know when we have um had enough of the of the experience to of what of what we've needed from people when your reaction changes that's when your universe changed so when you react differently to the triggers then you know you don't have to experience those triggers anymore in other words, if you do not experience what was triggers before as triggers, then you know you have transformed. Yes, yes, I know that. <laughs> I suppose when they just keep coming up sometimes, um, it's just the echo. Yes, it's, you have always the opportunity to go back where have you been where you've been because you have considered that good enough before so if you're motivating yourself <laughs> negatively that means if you're motivating yourself it's something that seems as the only choice. Mm -hmm. 
then you are recreating the same old, same old again and again. So you could also motivate yourself only by what excites you, only by what you would love to do and how you would love to do it. And that is the positive motivation. That is knowing that you have infinite possibilities. That you can always choose, always. And there is nothing that is predetermined. The cause and the effect are one. doesn't matter from the multi-dimensional perspective what comes first so that that right there there is a hint for you that you could also go straight to the effect that you would love to have which is just feeling loved and while you feel loved Nothing can trigger you because nothing can harm you because everything is there for you, with you, as you are loved, as you know you are loved. Did that answer your question? Yes, thank you. Thank you. We will end this transmission for now. See you soon. M much love to you. You are loved. We love you. Much love to you. Thank you. Bye -bye.